you got for me. You have seen the foundation base of the building tree. The house grew there, here, everywhere. We are there everywhere. We have a socket door there. It is a direct link. Is that the nothing? How long have we had that? Expedition into Slidescape 36. What Darling brought back changed everything. I'm sure. Now, do you have. Yeah, do you have more for me now? Slide projector. I led the expeditions into Slidescape 36. They told me not to go. The director should not put himself in danger. I told them to fuck off. <laughs> I've seen action before and I had to witness this myself. To find some meaning in all of this, I couldn't sit on my ass alone with my thoughts, my memories. Anything but that. Those who survived were deeply affected by what we found there. By what Darling brought back. It changed everything. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing remains to be seen. But I did find my meaning in that desert. A sound like a needle drilling in. Cutting through the containment suit, reverberating on the base of my skull. My whole being. Darling said it was nothing. But he was wrong. It's been there ever since. Growing into a certainty. Into an understanding of what's at stake here. What kind of a threat we're facing. And what must be done to stop it. So they used the slide projector, traveled somewhere, and brought something back. Janitor complaint. Has anyone else seen that janitor mopping up around here? Isn't this a restricted access area? Who gave him permission to come in here? How the fuck did he get through the maze, Dr. Dan? Maybe Trench gave him. He said... Okay, so Ati said the recorder, the headset... Walkman, whatever it is, was a gift from his friends. So it was bound, the maze was bound to Trench, but Ati got something to get him through the maze from whoever the hell his friends are. There's something, something up with the janitor thing, because we saw, we saw the janitors with the hotline, like, ugh, having access to the hotline. Finding the projector was how this all began. What started in ordinary ends here. You, me, Dylan. We've all come full circle. Is this the end? Have I reached the end of the game? What is this stuff? Is- are we inside the large-scale HRA? Whatever the hell that means. Nope. That's a chair. Sand memo. To all dimensional research staff, I've heard that numerous people have been complaining about the sand piled up around dimensional research. This sand is precious research material from a foreign dimension and will be examined more thoroughly when I have the time. If you attempt to clean or dispose of the sand, I will bar you from any future research endeavor. You will spend the rest of your career licking envelopes in a cubicle, staring at a cat poster. Do not touch my sand, Dr. Darling. <laughs> Jesus. Put it in a jar, darling. Don't, like, leave it around somewhere. Oh! Is this your sand? Okay. Oh! This is also your sand, I see. Do you need that much of it? Hedron Renaissance Lab. 
Renaissance lab. Whatever. Whatever you want to call it. There it is. Do I have any? I'm, I'm checking for ability points now. Darling, why there do you need- There was a doorway here. To where Dylan and I went, where the projector took us, where we met you. The bureau opened the same door here, but there's just... an echo now. I noticed this? Just on the other side? What is this? Doesn't it take me somewhere? Is this how we leave? Where am I? I'm over to the left, where the map doesn't really show me? Okay, that didn't move. Alright. So the one slide that she didn't destroy, the one that she kept, was the one that opened to Polaris. Stand away from frame when emergency lights are on. Is the projector projecting onto that? <laughs> projector room. There we go. We found something. I'm just gonna look at what's here. There's something blinking that way. that. Now oh, can I make it? <laughs> Climb up there, Jesse. Can you do it? There we go. Good. Also looks like I can go up higher, maybe? Can you grab that? No. I don't see anything specific over there. There we go. We made it. <laughs> Didn't expect to break things. Uh, hit the button. It's not there. Where the hell is it if it's not there? The projector's not here. Moved again. Darling moved it somewhere else? What does do with it? Oh, darling. I've got to find out. Darling, what are you... What's this do? Oh, it closes the doors. Okay. Open them back up, please. I'd like to get out of here. One slide remains. Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before we could intercept. The text on it, color slide film, this side towards screen, and the number 36. The topography of slidescape 36 bears deep wave marks. On the slide and in the distance, there's a formation of five pillars like crude, outstretched fingers. There were casualties on our first expedition. But communication is an issue. There is no sound there, as if you've gone deaf. And radios don't work. Correction, uh, resonance from an unknown source in part within the range of audible frequency. It acts in unpredictable ways, causing feedback loops that can tear you apart. Trench insists he heard something else. It made his ears bleed. Our equipment found no evidence of anything beyond the primary resonance. Trench's medical tests show nothing amiss. Uh. Purposes only. Not the actual object of power. Image from each slide is a, a physical portal into another dimension. Only one slide remains. Dylan's okay. sister burned the rest in ordinary before oh. we could intercept. I could have zoomed in. The text on it, I'd film this side towards screen and, and the number 36. I wonder if... The topography of slides... I wonder if that renaissance... I don't know if it's the hiss or if he uses that renaissance to... Like, maybe they're... Exploring the projector created the hiss. There's the elevator that wasn't working. Um, or maybe he's using the res resonance from the projector to... 
counteract the hiss. It's very dark. There we go. Hedron and the Hedron Renaissance are arguably the greatest assets this bureau has ever possessed. The security of Hedron is unspeakably vital, which is why we have redacted from the major majority of bureau employees. So the Hedron Renaissance vests are the things. Okay. This report details the containment procedures required for the Hedron Containment Chamber, including details on the redacted being pumped into the containment cell, mechanical upkeep of the Renaissance siphons, and the arrangement of the acoustic pillars to dampen or amplify the sonic range of the chamber. For more information on the proper operational procedures of the Renaissance siphons, an additional report is coming soon. Okay. There's something to press over there. I'm just ugh, looking for anything else that might be a good document worth picking up, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, alright, so this is gonna tell me what I need to do. Is that not it? No. Frick. Somehow... There we go. Expedition 3. We located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity, a living organism of a considerable mass. I I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape. Hedron? We 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 we've built a Was that for it. you? Did mm. he bring you here? Is that why you brought me here? Oh. You're here. You're here. They have you. I know you. I remember her from ordinary. I thought I'd never see you again. Hang on, I'm coming. They have her trapped? Okay, I'm gonna watch that. Oh, final message. Okay, hold on, let's watch Hedron first. Okay, yes. Expedition 3. We located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity, a living organism of a considerable mass. I I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape, the part that we can perceive. I honestly think there's the resonance it emits, the frequencies. We've, we've never seen anything like it. We, we, we built a container for it, and, and we brought it in. This changes everything. It, it's beyond our understanding. We have brought so many questions with us through that hole in the wall. I will dedicate... <laughs> I'm never going home. <laughs> So you brought an organism and then put it in a thing and was like, yeah, this will be fine. We'll just study it this way. What is this? Are you okay, dude? I'm Dr. Casper Darling, and this, this is my final message. It's not the end. 
But after this, I won't. I won't. I exposed myself to Hedron Residence fully. It, it is. It's changing me. I. I've seen. I've been shown so much. Slidescape 36 was where Hedron stopped the spread of another. It's, oh, it's terrifying. It really is. It's another source of resonance. Trench was exposed to this other. Oh. It will now spread. Oh. I've done everything I can to stop the Hedron resonance amplifiers. I, I don't know if it'll make a difference. I, I, I won't be here when it happens. I, I should have told him any more. I'm being sent one more lesson. Something wonderful, I think. So he completely exposed himself to Polaris and some something. To, I don't un I don't know what's happened to Darling. Me. So here's the thing: if we free Polaris or Hedron or whatever, um, does that? Oh, there you are. I'm Doctor Casper Darling, and this. This is my final message. Yeah, I got it. Um. It's not the end. But after this, I won't. I won't. I exposed myself. Slide projector only works with slide 36. Logically, this means the slide itself is a part of the object of power or a distinct altered item. But of course, I had to make sure no other slides worked. I had to try, I thought. Maybe emotion had something to do with it. Connection, history, love. I brought in my parents' old slides. Birthday parties, vacations to Niagara Falls, my first day of high school, that kind of thing. There were two boxes worth. I had to dig around the garage for an hour to find them. Never once thought of looking at them since they passed. I tried them all. I waited until all the staff left for the night. I stayed up in that booth for hours trying every one. Projector off, slide out, slide in, projector on. Nothing happens. Projector off, slide out, slide in, projector on, nothing happens. Love wasn't the common factor. There's no correlation I can see. Maybe the slide itself is the object of power. Maybe the projector is just an accessory. Maybe it doesn't matter. Why'd that fucking kid have to burn the other slides? Cause people friggin' died, that's why. And were turned into monsters. Darling, what happened to you? Where am I going? Oh, it opened up! Through here? You are coming through so strong. Darling, use this HRA to lock the door. I have to rip it off to get in. Oh! You sure? Okay, I'll be there. Hang on. Does everybody's vest stop working if we free it? Just... Hi. I made it. Just wondering. Uh, why? Oh no. Oh no. This 
It was pre okay, I see. I think I have to do this, whatever this is. Damn it. All right. Have a friend. Try again, try again, try again, try again. Four more come. Got this, I think. Go. Alright, okay, come on. What did that do? Did that do anything? Oh, there's more? more freaking health bubbles. I'm gonna get there, hold on. Thought there were more, but I don't see them. Ah! Oh, that was weird. Whoa, 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 what just hit me? Oh, what the frick? Oh, nice. There's gotta be more. There we go. Got one. And it dodged all of them. Is it just you? Ah, <sighs> oh, finally! Do it fast, do it fast, do it fast! Oh god, it just keeps going. I need the camera to move, thank you. Hold on, try again, try again, try flying again. There you go. Nope, not high enough. There we go, there we go. Oh god. Up here? No, try again. There we go.
your stupid chair. I'm doing bad, I'm doing bad, I'm doing bad. Picking that up, picking that up. What the heck is hitting me? What the heck? Where's the guy? Good? Something else is gonna hit me and I'm not gonna like it? She can't make it to top of these things. Damn it, there we go. Who else? You can have it. Where's the other one? Is he gone? Did I get them both? Oh, how many more of these do we have? More? Reach Pilar. 
Polaris. So Darling put this in here because he knew the Hiss would go after Polaris. That's why he used the giant HRA here. That's why she was like, this is a mistake. Because then we exposed her to the Hiss, but... That's a good thing, isn't it? We're freeing her. The poster comes down and there's nothing there. It's just the cell and death. I was wrong. There was never anything there. Hello? Polaris, are you there? What the heck is going on? You are a worm through time. No, no, no. No. What happened? That is not the end. What the frick? What just what? She's no. That doesn't what? He's the one. What? No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, whoa. You've always been the new. What? What? This is not the end. This is freaking. This is. What the? We are being infected by the hiss? Is that, is that what's happening right now? They're faking us out like this is the end because we've been infected by the hiss, but something's gonna happen here. Something's gonna happen here. What happened? We're still playing. We're still in the game. It's still happening. What is happening? Federal Bureau of Control, how may I help you? I need those field reports typed up and in management's hands first thing the tomorrow. The Bureau's the best at what it does. Protecting everyday Americans from phone threats. Here's what? the new girl, standing around daydreaming, and she should be getting work done. Who the hell does she think she is? The director? Check the notice board for tasks. Tidy up the coffee cups. Deliver mail. Scan the forms. Time is money. Right away. Right away. Is this how mail's delivered at the bureau? Dismissed. No problem. Is this all in her head while she's being infected by the hiss? Thank you. Oh. Thank you. We've still got Trench on the wall as the director. FBI? Oh, FBC. I was like, what? Let me know if you need anything else. So why did Polaris... My pleasure. Why did Polaris leave her? Maybe, maybe it was just like a side effect of being freed? Anything for the Bureau. Alright, well mail's delivered now. Don't let it go to your head. We'll have to be of assistance. Is there anything in here? Can we see? These are emissions, but nothing new in collectibles. What about... Oh, this stuff is still here. Something's coming. The whispers growing louder. I don't remember listening Worst to this. Winter storm in bureau history. A retribution for my sins. Our sins. This threat could destroy the bureau. Everything I've built. Destroy me. A web spun turning this place against me. I catch glimpses of it in the corner of my eye. It's just out of reach. 
elusive. It's clever. A perverse game of hide and seek. Is this part of an attack? Obfuscating the facts. Dimming my eyes. It's hard to tell. I need answers. I haven't heard back from Darling. I fear for my friend, my closest ally. I think we made a terrible mistake all those years ago. That thing he studies is putting us all in danger. It's my duty as director to keep the Bureau safe. It'll be difficult. What's done can't be undone. There's no easy fix. Magical thinking is a requirement for survival. Pain and suffering are mandatory. To change things, you have to break yourself. I don't know if I have the strength. I'm old and weak. I'm afraid. I can see my hands trembling. I'm losing control. So did he, like, decide to end it? Control points. This isn't... We didn't have all these. It took us a long time to learn how to stabilize the control points, the ley lines, the meridians of the oldest house. Darling found a way to soothe this beast. We discovered we must cleanse control points of all interference. It's my duty as the director, like Northmore before me. I couldn't manage it in my own house, at my home. I'll damn well do it here. Without the control points, the oldest house would swallow us alive. We'd be sealed inside an endless labyrinth. And no one would hear our screams. If an enemy ever managed to corrupt the control points, it'd be over fast, spreading like a cancer, leaping over the fire bricks like a crown of fire. They are the weak point. Darling's right about that. He's wrong about everything else. Dangerously wrong. Suspiciously wrong. Has he been compromised? In a way. We definitely did that. We definitely did the management team in internal lockdown. All these options weren't here earlier. I hear the hotline ringing in my dreams. Constantly ringing. Ringing so loud I can't hear the voice I'm straining to understand. Why don't I pick up? It's a secure line of communication with the board. They would tell me what I need to know. Do I fear their answers? Would they have warned me of this threat? I didn't see it coming. A traitor in our midst. A conspiracy plotted right behind me. I can't trust anyone. I must assume all my intel has been manipulated. The hotline is the only channel I can trust. Bind it. Control it. The rule and the ritual with objects of power. It can't be tampered with. The lifeline to the astral plane and the board. I must seek guidance. Soon. I'll rest first. I'm so tired. Always tired now. But I must reach the hotline. I think I'm under attack. An attack of dementia. Exhaustion. It's a brain cloud making me forget. The hotline. I must reach the hotline. So he knew he needed to pick it up and couldn't because of the hiss, I guess? The Ocean View Motel and Casino is a familiar friend to me. I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country, back in my field agent days. Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. The Ocean View operates on dream logic, and the light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places. 
and sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained in dreamscape navigation. Even Bureau veterans can only find one key in the motel. The key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid. The rest, the many other doors, are still mysteries to us. We're all merely guests there. Even the board. Sometimes I need to visit, just to breathe easier for a while. It beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in, insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in. <laughs>